So, I'm an art historian, I'm not a neuroscientist. I've been working for years on what the brain, what the neurosciences can tell us about our responses to art. I'm very interested in how people of all ages, all classes, respond to works of art and to images more generally, newspaper, illustrations, images of war, publicity, and so on and so forth. And um, so, what I'm going to do today is I will talk about how the new neuroscience of the emotions, exemplified by people like Ray Dalton, um, can tell us about how we respond to works of art and you know, what we can learn about our responses, shall we say, of fear, or shock, or horror, how we respond to images of torture, then and now, and so on and so forth. Why we are happy when we see certain pictures, why we cry when we see them. Um, you know, people always speak sort of in very broad terms about the emotions we now know about the neural substrate of how we respond to art. So the big question, in a way, is um, do emotional responses differ from context to context, from person to person, from island to island, or is there something broader that joins us in our responses to particular images and to images more generally? Do you think that um, an artist will respond more in their brains than a, a novice? Um, well, I don't know whether you can say respond more. An artist may respond differently in different parts of the brain. It's possible there may be certain kinds of prefrontal reactions which are different. But I am more interested in the commonality than in the what separates us. Whereas most people in the humanities are interested in what difference context, training, and profession makes. But I think that's sort of obvious. You know, that training does make a difference. National, you know, someone showing a French flag may be better, better, have a better response or a more immediate response amongst the French, but that seems to me clear. That's not what interests me. What interests me is you know, what is it about images that engage people more generally. So I'm really trying to figure that out. You, know, how you and I and the artists and the non-artists are, um, uh, you know, what happens in our brains when Actually, for me, the interest is not so much you know, what happens in the case of the artist, but what happens in the case of the public. Of course, a good artist may know how to engage the public more effectively than others, but that's a lot. 